in just six months, the British Crown has faced more than three significant setbacks. You already know about the cancer diagnoses of Kate Middleton and King Charles of England. Now, the youngest sister of the head of state of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth, Princess Anne, has been admitted to a hospital in the UK after suffering an accident. Buckingham Palace has just announced this through an official statement, confirming that Princess Anne was urgently hospitalized last Sunday at Saumi Hospital in Bristol. Specifically, she suffered an accident on June 23rd, and it is reported that she has a concussion with injuries. Buckingham Palace has confirmed this diagnosis. This hospitalization comes as a surprise because within the British Crown, Princess Anne has become one of the fundamental pillars in attempts to restore the institution's image after the recent tumultuous events. As you know, the British Crown has suffered several significant losses in a very short time. Most of these have been quite severe, as both King Charles and his daughter-in-law, Kate Middleton, are seen as essential figures in the monarchy. Without them, the crown could falter. However, Princess Anne has often stepped in during their absences. This latest accident, apparently involving a horse, seems to be the last straw, confirming that the British crown is enduring its anus horribilities. Several international media outlets report that the king has been closely informed and joins the entire royal family, in sending love and best wishes for a swift recovery. Reports suggest that the accident involved a possible impact with the head or legs of a horse, according to sources like the BBC, Daily Mail, and The Mirror. This is not only a personal challenge for Princess Anne, who now must focus on recovery, but it also means she will have to cancel her attendance at the upcoming Japanese state visit scheduled for next Tuesday, June 25th, and a planned trip to Canada later in the week on medical advice. All her official engagements will be postponed, and Her Royal Highness sends her apologies to anyone who may be inconvenienced or disappointed by these changes. At 73 years old, Princess Anne is known as one of the most important pillars of the crown. Her presence at all official events symbolizes loyalty and for many she embodies the spirit of Queen Elizabeth Roman II, more so than King Charles. Her achievements in equestrian sports have defined much of her life, making her the first member of the British royal family to compete in the Olympics, specifically at the 1976 Montreal Games. With Kate Middleton's cancer diagnosis, this hospitalization due to a concussion, and King Charles's cancer battle, the British monarchy is experiencing one of its darkest moments in recent memory. Many believe that 2024 will go down in history as one of the institution's most challenging years. The severe conditions of both King Charles and Kate have dominated international press coverage. Still, Princess Anne's accident has not gone unnoticed. Both the king and the wife of Prince William had withdrawn to recover from their illnesses, and Charles reappeared on June 15th for the Trooping the Color. During their absences, Princess Anne has taken on a prominent role, becoming the new flagship of Buckingham Palace, while the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Edward and Sophie, also stepped in to manage royal duties during this difficult time, it's expected that Princess Anne will recover, but a concussion is no small matter. It's serious and significant. The gala dinner with the Japanese emperors, scheduled for this Tuesday, will have to be postponed. It remains unknown who will attend in her place. Although her injuries are reported to be minor, she will remain hospitalized until all necessary tests are completed. Given the recent series of misfortunes affecting the royal family, it's not surprising that conspiracy theories are emerging. Many people connected to the royal family have died or fallen ill in the past year. For example, Thomas Kingston's case and others have raised eyebrows. It's unusual for so many tragedies to hit a single family all at once. It almost seems like a curse has been placed on them. In my opinion, Princess Anne has been a key figure, providing a sense of harmony, formality, and realism to the institution. 
Since Queen Elizabeth Roman II's death, many have looked to Princess Anne as a mirror of stability. Her fall from a horse, or this recent accident, indicates that her health might no longer be suitable for riding at the age of 73. Despite her lifelong bond with horses, it may be time for her to take a break. With Harry and Meghan firmly settled in the United States and showing no intention of returning, and the sporadic participation of King Charles's other relatives, like Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice of York, Princess Anne's role has been crucial for maintaining a semblance of continuity. Without her steady presence, the institution could face significant problems. Kate Middleton, who has been absent since her last appearance at the Trooping the Color, is also speculated to make a rare exception in her treatment to attend the gala with the Japanese emperors, given the shortage of senior royals. However, it's more likely that her next public appearance will be at the Wimbledon event, possibly accompanied by her children, but not by Prince William. We will continue to keep you updated as events unfold. As always, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel. It's free and doesn't cost anything. Let's open up a discussion. What do you think about all these tragic accidents and significant diagnoses affecting most of the royal family? See you in the next videos.